Hey, first graders. Today for your reading lesson, you were to reread the story and to do the highlighting and underlining on um, those pages and then to do page 45. So I'm going to read it to you today. Here we go. I'm going to get rid of those. Your story this week was called Every Season. I love spring when grass grows green. Speckled eggs fill woven nests. Showers soak. Seeds sprout. Flowers bloom. For this one, you'll need your pencil to do the underlining. It says, underline the words the author uses to describe spring. Underline the words that the author uses to describe spring. Crocuses pop, daffodils open, then lilacs spread their sweet smell. Salamanders slither out from under mossy rocks. Ducklings follow all in a row. We hold rabbits, lambs, puppies, and chicks. Spring is the time to dig and plant, but then summer comes and... At the bottom here, it says highlight a detail that connects to a personal experience you have had in spring. So have you ever smelled lilacs before? You could highlight that part. Or have you ever held brand new baby animals? You could highlight that part. I love summer too. The sun shines strong and hot. You can wear a straw hat or go barefoot in the grass. Bees sip, frogs hop, butterflies flutter and land. We taste strawberries, lemonade, watermelon, ice cream. Underline the words the author uses to describe summer. How did the author describe summer on these pages? Shorebirds scurry and peck. I hear the roar of ocean waves. Summer is the time to splash and swim, but then autumn comes and I love autumn too. Wind whips, seeds scatter. We pull up our hoods and zip up our jackets. Leaves turn and fall. Orange, maple, red oak, yellow ash. We pick pumpkins, taste apples, pears, and pies. Highlight a detail about autumn that connects to a personal experience you have had. So have you ever picked pumpkins, tasted apples or pies? Do you have to pull up your hoods and zip up your jackets in the fall? Geese honk and head south. Chipmunks store acorns in a secret spot. Autumn is the time to rake and jump, but then winter comes and I love winter too. The cold brings icicles and snowflakes that swirl. On this page, they want you to underline the words the author uses to describe autumn. We make snow angels, then sip hot chocolate. Mmm, horses grow thick coats to keep warm. Chickadees search for seeds. Snow blankets, branches, branches and buds. Animals leave their tracks. At the bottom, it says words and pictures can help you learn what an unknown word means. Underline the words that help you understand what tracks are. How does the picture help you? We wear hats, mittens, scarves, and skates. Winter is the time to coast and slide, but then spring comes and I love spring and it starts all over again. Then we turn to page 45 and we're gonna do the check for understanding. It says, write the answers to the questions. You can look back in the text. Number one says, how do the pictures help you know this is an informational text? Remember, informational text gives us facts and information. So what do you remember about those pictures? How does it show you that it's an informational text? Number two says, why does the author use a lot of photos for each season? Why do you think they do that? And number three says, how are the seasons similar? Use text evidence. Just wait, Hazel. So how are they alike? You can write how they're alike. Okay, thanks, guys. Have a good day. Mommy. Mommy. Mommy.